and talk to that living ship. And look at this thing. S class living frigate. It is a freaking amazing. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with a video showing you how to get a living frigate. And not only a living frigate, you're going to get an S class living frigate. It is so freaking awesome. But before we dive too much into it, number one, I want to give credit where credit is due. This is from the uh, from the No Man's Sky coordinates exchange over on Reddit, the NMS coordinate exchange over on Reddit. I'm always over there looking for cool stuff, and I found this post from Ventrix327. Ventrix327, he's the one who found it. All credit goes to him. I'm just going to show you how to do it, how to get there. So once you get to the system, and again, the uh, glyphs are at the top of the screen. You get to find a portal. Go to these uh, coordinates, go to this, uh, the glyph coordinates, and then go into space and just pulse drive. Now, guys, there's a whole bunch of requirements here. If you want to know how to get living frigates, there's a video down below in the description. You need to get your dream aerial first. You do that by doing your freighter missions. Once you have that, you're set, you're good to go. Or if you got a gifted dream aerial, this should work as well. But go get your dream aerial make sure you have that you have to have a freighter to do this of course link down below in the description to a video explaining all of that but once you have it go out into space and well once you go to this location use your portal go to the glyph location again the glyphs are on the top of the screen right here go to this location and pulse drive now you're gonna want to use an anomaly detector because the anomaly detector will actually activate a random event to happen in space as long as you're pulse driving. If you are uh, if you don't use it that way, it can show up, but it's going to be super rare. You'll be pulse driving for hours. If you use the anomaly detector, you're only going to be pulse driving for five to ten minutes about that. It's, all, it's a random event still, but use that anomaly detector, and you'll see that I get a whole bunch of rare occurrences. Ignore all those. What you're looking for is the whale song notification once you get to the whale song notification that means there is a living frigate right there you know stop pulse driving that way you can activate it and talk to that living ship and look at this thing s class living frigate it is a freaking amazing and not only that you can keep doing this over and over and over again to get multiples like i tried it again just to see like if i had to reload or anything like that you do not have to reload you do not have to like leave and come back or do anything like that all you have to do is keep using those anomaly detectors make sure you're using the anomaly detectors when you're doing this and keep in mind this is going to take a while so what i was doing is i'm listening to a podcast i'm just letting it go through and i'm just pulse driving for 15 minutes and sometimes 10 minutes on other times you're gonna have to pulse drive and just ignore a whole bunch of these rare occurrences you know rare anomalies in space you're looking for the whale song to pop up that whale song notification pops up you can get a second frigate i mean a third one a fourth one as long as you have your anomaly uh, detectors you can keep doing this over and over never have to you know reload you don't have to leave the system and come back none of that stuff keep pumping these things out it is so freaking awesome. The other thing, keep in mind, this is 52 million or yeah, that's a million right there. 52 million. And so you're going to need a lot, a lot, a lot of money to do this. So definitely, definitely, if you're looking for an S class, this is where you're going to get it. Easy way to do it right now. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did hit that like button for me and I will see you guys in the next one.